In this video, we're going to solve this problem. Given the equation, the square root of x minus the square root of 11 equals the square root of y. Here, x and y are positive integers. So then what is the maximum possible value of x over y? So this question is from UK Senior Mathematical Challenge. So now let's start from the given equation. So here, the square root of x minus square root of 11 then equals square root of y. So first, let's square both sides. Next, let's expand the left-hand side. Then x minus the 2 square root 11x and plus 11, then equals y. Because given x and y are positive integers, so that means this part this implies the 2 square root 11x is the integer. Also implies 11x is a perfect square. So that means x equals 11 times n squared. For some n, n is a positive integer. Okay, so now let's mark this one and this equation. Okay, so now let's use this expression to substitute x in the equation 1. Then we have, so 11 n squared minus 2 here, 11 and 11 n squared plus 11 then equals y. Then simplify. Then here we have y, 11 n squared minus 2, 11 n, then plus 11. Let's take out the common factor 11. Then here, n squared minus 2 n plus 1. So then we, we have y equals 11. We can make this one perfect square. That's n minus 1 squared. Because y is bigger than 0, so that means n minus 1 must be bigger than 0. So this one implies n is bigger than or equal to 2. n here is a positive integer. Okay, so then this is an expression for y. So now let's see what is uh, x over y. So x over y. So x is 11 n squared. Then y is 11 n minus 1 squared. Then cancel the common factor. Then rewrite the top and bottom. So then we have n over n minus 1 then squared. Okay, so then here, let's rewrite the top part. Because bottom is n minus 1, so here we can put a minus 1, then plus 1. Then we can separate the inside into two parts. Separate from here. So that is a 1 plus 1 over n minus 1, then squared. Because the question is looking for the maximum value of x over y. So now let's see the expression. When n gets bigger, the fraction is getting smaller. So that's why in order to get the maximum value, so n should take the smallest value. So here we have n is bigger than or equal to 2. So here n is bigger than or equal to 2. Then take the smallest value. Then here, so less than or equal to 1 minus 1 over, take a 2 for n. So 2 minus 1 squared. Again here, n equals 2. Then simplify, this one equals 4. Okay, so that means x over y is less than or equal to 4. So now let's see what x equals 2. What is x was a y? So when n equals 2, x equals 
11 n squared. So that is 44. Then y is uh, 11 n minus 1 squared. So y is a 2, so this one equals 11. That's why let's see. So then x over y just equals 44 over 11. That's 4. So that's why from here you can tell, so the maximum value of x over y is a 4. When x equals 44, y equals 11. Also by checking, so x equals 44, y equals 11 is a solution of the equation. So then we have the conclusion. So the maximum value of x over y just equals 4. So 4 is the answer for this question.